Hey, what's up, guys? It's Lazarus. Welcome to another episode of Hackers. Um, and they they just dropped a new update for the game. So let's let's take a quick look at that. Uh, you may have already saw it. It was just um, more languages, but there was a few things that they didn't uh, tell us about that they changed. So it was it's just minor stuff, but just in case if you don't know, I want to go over it with you. So. The first thing is the look on the Evolver here. Not a not a big change. Um, so the uh, on the thing up there at the top, um, they used to be white or like a gray. Now they're green, a green color, which is really cool. I like the uh, I like that color scheme they got going on with that now. Um, and something else they changed is that. Um, Let's finish up our programs right here so I can show you. It's how you, when you're attacking. Um, so before, <laughs> Santa Claus, <laughs> that's ironic. Because <laughs> um, it's almost Christmas. But, um, so, so let me just show you this really, really quick. See, you like this one. See how it, oh, come on, don't be like that. Oh, don't be like that. I keep trying to show the people. Look, see how you can see it up there at the top of the Evolver. It's like a grayish color. Um, and on mine, it's green now. It wasn't like that before. I like that. It just shows the difference in levels a little bit more. Um, and adds more co color to the game, which is always nice. So, one thing that they also changed is that um, your programs, uh, you have to take off a program uh, before it'll go on. Like, before you used to be able to just, just um, say you had a... Hold on. One second. So say you had uh, your like this for an example, an ice wall and two blasters or two uh, beam cannons. If I wanted to put on another ice wall, I'm gonna try it right now. Ready? Click. Nothing. Nothing happened. So you have to take off a program if a node is full before you can put another one on. See, before it used to just override one of the programs that was on the node and just put the new program on there but it doesn't do it anymore which is really cool because I had it a few times where the beam cannon would actually um, get rid of the blaster um, which didn't make any sense to me uh, so we don't have to worry about that anymore now it's just uh, straight up when you put them on you have to also take them off to put a different pro uh, program on there or, uh, or virus, if you want to call it that. Some people call it virus. Um, but that's pretty cool, though. Just some small tweaks to the game. I'm liking it. I was. It's been, it's been a while since they've uh, updated the game, so I was a little worried um, if we were going to see another update or not. But um, now I see that they were just working on uh, different languages for the game, so that's pretty cool. And... They said that there will be more to come. Now, I don't know if they mean just more languages. I'm sure that's, you know, they want to add more, but um, I don't know if they meant that or more updates, um, generic updates for the game, you know, adding new stuff and stuff like that. So that's pretty cool. More stuff to look forward to. Um, I'm sure they're really busy. Got a lot of stuff to uh, uh, add to the game that they want. But that's pretty cool, the new update. So I'm going to try just another example right here on this Bitcoin mine. I'm going to try to put on an ice wall. Boom, doesn't work. Before it would override it. How about a blaster? Just for um, test sake, no, the blaster don't override it either. So you have to take off a program before it'll go on there. Protector doesn't work. Battery and RAM doesn't work. Okay, so that's pretty cool. Now I don't have to worry about that anymore. It accidentally deleting one of my uh, programs on the node and losing a whole bunch of bitcoins because of, because of it um, I kind of like that neat little uh, change there uh, but yeah guys we're gonna keep going here I'm not really sure what I want to get upgraded today so I'm gonna think about that and I'll be right back all right so I only need was it about 200,000 more and we'll be able to upgrade our code gate. So that's what I've decided to upgrade. Um, and the reason for that is uh, with these higher level players, they keep using their beam cannons that are really high level and they're able to get through these code gates 
just using beam cannons um, and, they can get, and they can get through them quite quickly so by upgrading our code gates well, that's going to slow them down or force them into having to bring along and use a battering ram uh, that'll take longer otherwise if they're going to stick with the three beam cannons because they're confident or whatever uh, it's going to take a lot longer to get through those code gates which is really good for us eat up that time for them and I got 28,000 B-Coins here, so I'm gonna go ahead and upgrade our ice wall today. So let's keep going here. Uh, just found this guy, was it uh, Johnny? 3,000 B-Coins. Um, not a whole lot of money, but that's okay because uh, the B-Coins are pretty rare around here. I did drop my reputation a little bit, which has helped a lot. Um, I didn't think it would have that big of a difference, but wow, it does. So, I'm going to keep going here. Uh, might have to uh, drop my reputation a little bit more. I think that'll help. Let's see if we can take down that sentry in time. Oh, darn it. Uh, what about that code gate? Can we take down? Oh, but the antivirus is coming from the other direction. And the sentries are the same level, it seems. They only have one triangle. So it's not really worth trying to keep taking that out or trying to catch up to it. We did, however, cut it off from the B-Coin mines. We don't have that attacking our code gate, which is really good. Just want to, uh, you know, you just, you just want one node attacking you there. So I'm going to throw a shield on there. Take down these turrets, level 5, 300 B-Coins there. Nice. That means there's going to be a lot in these Bitcoin mines as well. Uh, pretty high level server farms. That's good. Oh, 400. Nice. Oh, big haul. Um, let's see. Is there anything else? Oh, the Bitcoin mixer is really full. I see that now. I did notice that earlier. Uh, probably didn't need a shield, but we'll just keep going with it to be safe. And we've only went through five so far. So that's good. And that's about it right there. Awesome. Let's see what we get from the Bitcoin Mixer. 1800 Awesome. And we are going to get all the money. And there we go. Almost done. Boom. Now how close are we? Should be really close. 32,000. And that is the exact number that we need for the ice wall now the reason i want to upgrade the ice wall instead of the protector first is because um i think the ice wall can replace the re the protector because it'll have such a high buffer size that we won't need the protector's regeneration or large buffer size um for those choke points so that's something to keep in mind uh but we do need a hundred and fifty thousand more to get the code gate upgraded so we're gonna keep going here um, I might actually just yeah let's do that I think I'm running out of time of that three hour mark so uh, I want to make sure we get that before we lose all our resources over the night only five credits get that going and let's find someone else here all right this one will work 74,000 not the hundred thousand that I'm looking for but I've already spent a lot of money looking for someone. And they also have 3,300 B coins. That's all right. Oh, wow, a thousand and that little guy right there. You know what that means. There's gonna be a lot of B coins in his uh, level. <laughs> Look at that thing, there's gonna be a ton in there. Unfortunately, he didn't upgrade his uh, resource collectors too much. It would have helped if he did. Oh, there's a net connection over here. I didn't even notice that, you guys. Jeez. Um, wow, that might have been better. She, oops, missed that. Didn't even really look around. Because I just saw the three net connections over there in the back. And I thought, well, he probably didn't have a fourth one. But he did. Um, that's all right, though. We're going to be able to get through here still. Um, in a timely manner. Because our level 10 beam cannons... We're gonna burst down these nodes real quick. 1200 in there. So there's probably gonna be another thousand in there, so that would make sense. The other one had a thousand as well. Uh, wow, that went down fast. 
anti-fire still causing problems. So yeah, the, all the money is going to be in his uh, resource collectors. Uh, I'm going to let that go down. Don't need to throw on the ice wall. We're just going to take it right back. Oops, sorry about that. Yeah, so about a thousand in that. Bitcoin mine, good, good, good. And nothing in there, just like I expected. Um, let's see, let's try for that a Bitcoin mixer down here, just in case. Let's see. Does it have anything? No. Okay. I thought I don't. I don't know if I took that. I forgot if I took that server farm, and I didn't take it all the way. All right. So that's a good thing I went back for that. I forgot about it. Um, nearly there, and just about done. And there we go. Boom. Done. GG no re. Okay. <laughs> um, so we need a hundred to twenty thousand now, because like I said, it did spend some money looking for someone. Um, eight ice walls. Let's just go ahead and get some beam cannons. Finish those up at three, and keep going here. Uh, I think I saw someone around here. Who was it? No, I'm looking. Gonna... Two hundred thousand. Oh. This is it, guys. This got no. He's got online. No way. Wait a second. I just, I just searched for him. He shouldn't have been online. Because they fixed that where they won't, they won't show up. If they're. Oh my gosh! Four thousand bitcoins. Never mind. Forget that other guy. But wait a second. I thought they changed it where if you search for somebody, they won't show up online. Because it only brings up people who are offline. What? That's interesting. <laughs> um, wait a second. Where did that other guy go? Wait. Uh, holy cow, yeah. 115,000, 4,000 B coins. That's amazing. And oh, yeah, there it is. So this guy's not inactive. He does have his B coin mixer nearly full. And. Wow, he has a level 9 core, I believe that is. Yeah. Three code gates, all low level. Let's get through it. So, got a few choke points here. I'm going to save the protector from when we get there, there. Maybe. Although his black ice are not very strong, so we might not even have to worry about it. Um... We could actually just use ice balls on that protect or that scanner there. Uh, we'll see when we get up there though. We gotta get ahead of this anti-virus so we don't have to use our battering rams though. Let's see. Come on. Get it down quickly. Got one level six turret, keep a note of that. Double shields though, that's unfortunate. On those three turrets. Alright, let's burst it down. Now, how are we doing here? Is it close? Oh, wow, he must have a high level antivirus. Oh yeah, triple triangle over there. Uh, but looks like we're staying ahead of it. Ooh, it's close. That guardian shield keeps popping up on it. Goes down quickly though. Makes a little bit of a difference, but not enough. Quickly go down. Yes, before the shield got there. Clutch. Okay, let's take this down. Boom. Um, level 6 beam cannons going to work. Probably going to nail a shield. Oh, that was close. Oh my gosh. Wow, that was super close. No way. GG, no re. <laughs> oh my gosh. That was cool. Uh, but I did let it go down there. <laughs> though, the second time around. Because we don't really need to throw on the ice walls there. I'm going to throw on the protector to be safe. Because that antivirus be causing me problems. I don't want to deal with it. So we're just going to let the protector do its job here. Double beam cannons. Come on, let's go. Laz, what are you doing? Throwing those double beam cannons. Let that regenerate back up. Oh. Man, this antivirus be causing some serious problems. Okay, there goes the shield there. Well, my one beam cannon did some work, though, on those black ice, although they are pretty low level, though. Um, wow, do I need the shield? Seriously? The antivirus is going to work. 
Come on, there it is. Holy cow, 4,600. <laughs> That's so much B coins. Wow. I got, actually got like 6,000 from this guy earlier. So I'm definitely coming to the right place by dropping my reputation down. Uh, make sure you guys are keeping your reputation low to find these inactive players. We can throw them around a little bit. Take all their B coins. And there we go. Wait a second, do we have enough? Oh, super close. Let's uh, let's see here. So we need a few ice walls, beam cannons, and that should be good enough. Okay, five credits, six credits. Okay, we'll drop down just to five credits. Here we go, and we got thirty-six thousand B coins. Shoot. Oh, that's close, but not close enough to upgrade an arc compiler. We need a little like 14,000 more fee coins, which is a lot. Holy cow, 300,000, no way. <gasps> Are they on? No, he's getting hacked by someone else. Dang it. No, that was so unlucky. I think we'll settle with this guy, 92,000. Uh, that'll do for right now. And his network isn't too bad. Um, few chore points here and there. But I think we should be able to get through it. No problemo. No problemo. Alright, core is down. Let's keep going here. His antivirus is pretty strong. That might be a problem since we don't have a protector with me. But I'm gonna get greedy here, see what we can do. See if we can get lucky. Roll some nines. Roll some roll some threes? Triples? Doubles? What am I saying? <laughs> Anyways. Let's go here. Um, let's throw a shield on there for time's sake. Take down these scanners like a one, two, three, and whoa! That's some serious damage coming from those uh, scanners. All right, time to multitask and shield. Oops, maybe I didn't even need one. Oh, shield over here. Oh, that's right. I gotta take one off and then throw on the uh, throw on the battery ram there. Do I need another shield? Ooh, e, no, yes, no, maybe. Can we get through it? Take off the battery rams. Battery ram is off there. Took it down without needing a shield. That's good. Awesome. All right, now for the last choke point. Throwing on the beam cannons. Let's go. This one was pretty close though. It was almost a problem in some of those spots. I was worried. Wait a second. Holy cow. 2,000 B coins there? Dang. So that's where all his B coins came from. Unfortunately, this guy didn't have more B coin mines. Otherwise, we could have got so rich off these B coins. Um, still waiting for it to go down, even. Dang. Man. He only had to be more B coin mines. That sucks. Um, but we'll live with it. And there we go. That'll be enough to push us over the amount we need. 39,000 B coins. Let's get that upgrade started on the ice wall. And now what else was a code gate? Yes. I was thinking about doing the black ice, but the code gate's definitely something we need to upgrade to level eight. It'll get that cool new little design on it. And it'll look menacing much cooler stronger better awesomer but that's gonna be all for this episode guys make sure you like if you enjoyed subscribe to see more and i will see you all next time